I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the tarantula hawk. Let's go for it. One, two, here we go, three. I think we can all agree that I have done some pretty crazy things. Like the time where I stuck my arm into the mouth of an alligator to show you why getting an alligator as a pet is not a good idea. Ready? Everyone ready? Rolling. Rolling. GoPro? Rolling. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Ah! Oh yeah! He is into my arm and he is holding on. Then there was the time I put that same arm into a container full of blood-sucking leeches to show you what it's like to be feasted on by one of the world's most notorious parasites. Look at that. They are all over me. Oh, I can definitely feel something happening. It feels like sandpaper grinding against my skin. You guessed it. They drank a lot of blood. And it's all about the amount of anticoagulant that actually went into my hand. I may be bleeding for hours at this point. Oh yeah, then there was that time I took a sting from the velvet ant, which is ranked as having the fourth most painful sting in the insect kingdom. Oh my gosh, guys, this is super bad. Like I said, I do some pretty crazy things, but the reason I do them is so that we can learn about these animals, the dangers of their bites or stings, and so that ultimately we walk away with a newfound respect for some of the coolest creatures on our planet. Ah! 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 Oh, that hurt! Ow! Ah! 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 Can you see that? Oh man, this was not a good idea, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woo, doggy! However, in order to be a part of these experiments, I have to first get myself up close with the animals. And sometimes that's easier said than done. Careful! I think he's gonna get it. I think he sees it. Oh! What happened? Come on, go, go! What's wrong? Did you catch it? Oh, yeah, I caught it! Oh, but the bad news is... Oh, I caught something my. else, too! Good oh. 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 Worst choice spike I've ever seen. Oh, hold on a oh second. Hold God. on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to get some by the tarantula hawk. Oh, they're all over you, man. Oh. Oh. Hold on a second. Let me get this under control. Oh, my gosh. Uh, did you get the tarantula is, hawk at I least? I did. I did. I caught the tarantula yeah. hawk. Nervous? Do I look nervous? Yep. Oh, yeah, guys, I am the most nervous I have ever been before one of these bite or sting episodes. As we know, yesterday I made this awesome catch. I caught a tarantula hawk and I was so excited. And then I fell into a Troy cactus. Think happy thoughts. One, two, three. Ah! And then I realized what I had done. I set the table for today where I'm going to be stung by a giant spider wasp. Now, the tarantula hawk is the second most painful sting in the insect kingdom. The only thing more painful than this is the bullet ant. And I felt that to work my way up the rungs of experiencing these painful insect stings, I kind of had to see what it was like to be stung by a tarantula hawk before I actually take on the bullet ant challenge. Whew, deep breath. All right. Let's bring in the wasp. Oh boy, this comes. is gonna be bad. Here she comes. Oh. oh boy. Oh my goodness. That's a big one. That is the largest species of wasp in the United States, ladies and gentlemen. Now you look at this insect and you say to yourself, tarantula hawk. Well, it's not a tarantula and it's not a hawk, but like a hawk, they hunt for tarantulas. 
What these females will do is fly around in the sky and they can actually sense chemicals in the air that will tell them where a tarantula's burrow exists. They will land on the ground, skitter across and go down into the burrow. They will use their front arms to tempt that tarantula to come up out of its burrow. And that is where a boxing match begins. The tarantula hawk will dodge left and right, taunting that tarantula until it rears up on its back legs and exposes its fangs. Now you would think that tarantula is going to bite down and kill the tarantula hawk. Not gonna happen. This hawk is so quick, she will spin her abdomen up underneath the belly of the tarantula, insert that quarter inch stinger, and the venom will instantly put that tarantula into a state of paralysis. Now the tarantula is not dead. It's just like this. Ah, I'm in intense pain and I cannot move. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where the true horror story begins. It's in a state of paralysis and the female pulls the tarantula back down into its burrow and there she proceeds to lay an egg on top of its abdomen. She then leaves the burrow and the tarantula is left there, still alive and in a permanent state of paralysis. Eventually that egg hatches and the larva then eats the tarantula while it's still alive. How's that for one crazy horror story? Oh, okay, so they say that the sting from the tarantula hawk is so painful it will put even a human into a state of paralysis for about five minutes. I know what you're thinking. Coyote, this is absolutely crazy. Do you wanna know what Coyote's thinking right now? This is absolutely crazy. But I think if you guys are ready, I am ready to be stung by the tarantula hawk. Here we go, guys. Chance, bring in that butterfly net. I'm gonna lift this up. We're going to actually place the capsule inside of the butterfly net, just like that. Lift it up. Now I have a set of entomology forceps here. See that? And these have a very soft tip. I'm gonna be able to pick up the wasp with these forceps. But what I'm gonna do first is reach my arm in there and remove the glass capsule. Once the glass capsule's out, the net will fall down on the wasp and I'll be able to insert the forceps in there, pick up the wasp, and remove it from the net. Okay, ready? Here we go. So the butterfly net is here to try to prevent the wasp from flying away. Yes. Because how hard was it to catch this wasp? Extremely difficult. We've been trying for days to catch one of these. And it was a very painful experience to get it based on the fact that I fell into the choya. Okay, ready, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. I'm removing the glass capsule. I'm trying not to disturb the wasp. Okay, this is good. Part one, successful. Part one is good. I'm gonna remove the stick. Stick is out. Okay, now I'm going to fold this over okay. like that. This is the last little break between you and being stung. What's going through your mind? <sighs> What's going through my mind is don't get stung right now just through the net. I have to get it perfectly with the entomology forceps. If I don't get it right on its thorax, we can't make this happen. I don't know, man. I think you're kind of stalling. Uh, I'm not stalling. Trust me, I'm not stalling. Oh, boy. Careful. Oh boy. Got it. Oh boy. That is the positioning that we want. Oh boy, okay, so we gotta hurry up and do this. <sighs> that is a perfect hold right there. Now, before, look how much my hand is shaking. Hold on. So I get a shot of her. <sighs> okay, oh boy, look I've at got that a really going. good hold. Wow, look at that abdomen going. I got a really good hold on her. It took me a minute to get the right hold, but the right hold is what is important. Now, I do have the glass capsule right here, so I'm hoping that I have the wherewithal after the sting to quickly pick up the glass enclosure and put it back over top of the wasp so it doesn't escape and we can get some more B-roll shots with it. But guys, do be aware that if I do immediately go into a state of paralysis, just let the wasp fly away. Don't try to grab it, don't do anything. It'll be back into the wild and everything will be fine. All right, Coyote. You okay, man? Your heart racing? million miles a second. This is the most nervous I've ever been to take a sting or bite from anything. My hand is shaking. Are you guys all ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready if you're ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the tarantula hawk. Let's go for it. One, two, here we go, three.
You alright? Oh! Yep! Oh! oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Okay. Oh! Tell me what you're feeling. I can't move my arm! That is the most intense pain I've ever felt! I don't think I can talk! Are you okay, man? I'm getting nervous. Are you feeling anything? Like, should you be worried? Nope, I just can't move my arm. I think I'm gonna cry. Guy <laughs> Pearson doesn't cry though, right? Oh! Oh! It is, it's like my arm is in a state of paralysis right now. Ah! 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 You need anything? Right there. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, wow. Ah! Ah! Looks like your arm is swollen up. Ah! 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 Second wave of pain! Ah! Yeah, it's actually receding at this point. Oh, wow. That zone right there is a hot radiating pain. And you can see the stinger where it went in right there, that red mark. I've read that it's like getting tased with a taser gun. I've never been tased before, but I can tell you that the pain is unbelievable right now. All up and down my forearm. Wow, I'd actually slightly liken it to the Gila Monster at this point. It feels really hot. Really, really hot. Ah, ah, hot to the touch. Wow, it's, put your, see if my arm is warm to you. Oh yeah, it's all really, it's like really taut. Ah, yeah. oh, hold on, let me walk around for a second. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Let's come back into the scene here. Oh, you little bugger. Oh, I am lightheaded at the moment, but the sting from the tarantula hawk is serious. I can see why it's ranked as a two on the insect sting pain index. And at this juncture, I think it's safe to say that I've worked my way up the ladder and am ready for the bullet ant challenge. I know you are all waiting in anticipation for that one. Trust me, it's coming. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's let this go back off into the desert. We safely released the tarantula hawk back into the wild. And as it flew away, I think we were all a bit relieved that this sting was over and done with. And while the impact of the sting and the intensity of the pain was far superior to that of the velvet ant, it only lasted for about five minutes. I had no major adverse reactions. However, my arm was sore for the rest of the day. And 24 hours later, it looked like a water balloon. And it really itches. And I really shouldn't itch it, but ah, that feels so good. The tarantula hawk is an extraordinary insect. And while their sting is powerful, they have no interest in stinging humans. If you ever see one in the wild, admire it from a safe distance, as you have absolutely nothing to fear. That is, unless you are a tarantula. <laughs>